So we're at Leifang Tower, Leifang Pagoda, and totally rebuilt. Rebuilt authentically, back to the original style. But we'll show you the foundation. They've preserved the foundation and built the new pagoda over the foundation. Okay, so we're at Leifang uh, Pagoda, and this was totally rebuilt. So the structure is new. But behind me, you can still see how they preserved the original foundation. So it was built over the original foundation, so you have the best of both old and new. Okay, so we're gonna take the stairs up. There's elevators behind me. Lines are way too long, so we're gonna take the stairs. Now we're only partly way up the pagoda, but you can see behind me why this was such a great place. Um, and so important to the people of this region. Beautiful spot, we're gonna keep going up. So here we are at the top of the pagoda, and just beautiful. If you come to Hangzhou, I highly recommend that you come here. The view from up here, pan around a little bit so you can see, just gorgeous. And the story goes that a human married a woman, uh, she was actually a snake though, and so Buddha said, this is not right. And so she was imprisoned in this pagoda, as legend has it. Of course, it's now totally rebuilt and just beautiful. Or worth a visit. Today we're in Qiqi National Park and uh, still in the Hangzhou region. And what we're doing is just taking a boat trip and you can book these boats by the hour and take as many hours as you want. So I'm starting with just one hour and we'll see where I end up. With the hand-driven cattle boats, what you can do is uh, the guy pulls up to a little dock and you get off and you can wander around and explore. And then when you're done exploring, you get back on your water boat and he takes you to the next destination. Very nice. Very scenic back here. Very quiet. Lots of birds. Very peaceful. within a huge metropolitan area of Park Pancho. And as a matter of fact, if you want to, it has its own subway stop. So you can take the subway from the center of the city out here and just spend the day out in nature. So, China. <laughs> 